Hey guys, it's been a while since we've made a video. We've been away from the boat for a little while. We had some family in town, but most of our time was spent doing sailboat deliveries. A lot of you probably don't know that Nathan and I also run a yacht delivery business. We specialize in catamarans, but we can deliver any sailing vessel. Our company is called Elysian Solutions, and I have my little shirt on today. And a shout out to our nephew, Sam Parents, who helped us with the logo. He's a great graphic designer, and we're really grateful he was able to help us on this project. So this video is going to answer a lot of questions that we've been getting in person and online uh, regarding the size of our battery bank, the size of our solar array, and our motor draw. We're also going to cover the costs, uh, material providers, and any necessary fabrications we needed for each step. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you find it informative and you can connect with us in the comments. You can also email us directly at svugacheka at gmail.com. We look forward to connecting with you. Okay, y'all, let's talk solar panels. We have nine total, five mounted over the davit system and four are gonna mount on the Bimini top. We purchased the solar panels from Santan Solar in Arizona. We bought five Longi panels rated at 435 and four V-Sun panels rated at 375. We had to fabricate a new davit mount to fit the much larger solar panels and that cost us about $2,000. And this is what the panels look like on the back of the boat. It looks like a huge spoiler on a car. It also looks like overkill until you find out we're attempting to power motors without a generator. We haven't yet mounted the ones on the Bimini top, but here are the numbers we're expecting to get from these panels. Again, here you see we have five Longies rated at 435 and four Vsuns rated at 375, totaling around 3,600. We expect to get about 80% efficiency at four and a half hours per day, totaling around 13 kilowatts per day. The solar will run through these two MPPTs we chose Victron MPPTs and easily purchased them on Amazon. We selected the 250 watt, 100 amp hour for about $900 each. And that's it for solar and MPPTs. Okay, now let's talk batteries. We purchased 128 individual cells to create four large battery banks. We purchased batteries directly from a company in China called OSN Power. We've been very happy with the batteries and the quality and the shipping quality. The only exception are the BMS. We found out this week that the BMS they sold us is not a smart BMS. We'll keep you posted on how we resolve this in a future video. But with that being said, for this 32 kilowatt battery bank, we spent just about $6,800. If you've been pricing these batteries, you know this is a great price. Here's what they look like in the boat. This is the top layer of batteries and there's a second layer below this. Our two previous videos show how Nate built the boxes. Feel free to watch those and I'll include the link below. Each of the four battery banks has 32 individual cells run in parallel and in series. Each bank is run in parallel and in series to create a 48 volt, 800 amp hour, 32 kilowatt battery bank. And finally, let's talk usage. Our batteries are gonna feed into three separate consumers. The motors, our AC system, and our DC system. Since I know most of you are here for the usage of the ocean bolt motors, let's look at that first. Here's the usage chart provided to us for a 40 foot leopard. You'll see that at about four knots of speed, we'll be consuming about 2.5 kilowatts of power per hour per motor. We're a catamaran. That's about five kilowatts per hour. Assuming we leave 10 kilowatts in the battery bank at all times, that gives us about four, maybe four and a half hours of runtime. I know you're thinking that's not a lot of motor time and you're right. Nate and I have talked this through and through and sat on deliveries and countless different scenarios and situations and said, we won't be able to run our motors if we were stuck in this situation. And I guess we're just crazy enough to give it a try. So hold your naysaying for now. And if at some point in the future, we have to install a gen set, then we will be accepting all of the I told you so emails. Until then, just watch, hold your breath and cross your fingers. 
We created a few posts on our Facebook page, Sailing Vessel Ugacheca Goes Electric, talking about some modifications needed to mount the motors and cell drives. Send us a message if you can't find them or if you have any additional questions. And AC and DC usage. A part of this project is that we gutted the entire boat of all of the electrical systems and wiring. We used a company called Reef Controls and their partner company, Stingray Electronics, to rewire the entire boat and to do this electrical work for us. They've been great to work with out of Melbourne, Florida. We highly recommend them. In addition to rewiring the boat, they have custom built for us this panel to fit over where the old panels used to live. Power will feed from our battery bank through this Victron Quattro inverter to power our AC system. We easily purchased this inverter on Amazon for $1,800. And next we'll look at what our AC usage looks like. We have accounted for current usage like kitchen appliances, but have also made space for our future usage like our dive compressor. For our DC system, we bought this smaller Victron MPPT on Amazon for $300. It's rated at 100 volts, 50 amps, and instead of running solar through this MPPT, we'll run our large house battery bank through the solar input into a lead acid battery that will then power our DC panel. And here's what our DC usage looks like. It's mostly nav instruments and lights with our largest consumer being our windlass. And that's all for usage. Thanks everyone for joining us today and for following us during this project. Things have been moving forward at a rapid and fantastic pace. There's finally a light at the end of this very long tunnel and we're really grateful to be sharing it with you. We look forward to hearing from you in the comments and I hope you have a great day.